You and I are called as believers in Jesus to walk in holiness. And all of the earth right now is travailing. The, the land is travailing. And there is such a shaking and a call a call for the bride of Christ to cleanse herself, a call for the bride of Christ to come into repentance, a call for the bride of Christ to come back to a proper fear of the Lord, who he is, his holiness, his Holy Spirit that today is alive and actively moving amongst us. It's a person. The Holy Spirit is a person who lives and dwells inside of us. And I think just uh, that truth in and of itself, that revelation helps me, causes me more, maybe more than anything else, other than my the people in my life, more than anything else though, to walk in it, to steward it. I'm like, okay, Holy Spirit, you're right here with me. Woo, I'm convicted. I'm convicted. I messed up today. He holds my tongue in place. He holds me back from reacting and, and yelling um, at the person who almost just hit me on the road. Why would I rage? I have the Holy Spirit power inside of me. Why would I want to misrepresent the Father? I want to be bringing people to the Father. I want to be populating heaven and plundering hell. And so this is a, another lane to run in to do just that. In fact, Isaiah prophesied of a highway of holiness. I believe it was Isaiah 35. He prophesied of a highway of holiness. It is, it is so beautiful. I encourage you to go to it and read it. I don't have it uh, sitting here in front of me, but is a lane for you and I to run in. I believe that Jesus demonstrated it, modeled it while he was on earth. We can look it up. We can read about it in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the gospels. And we can go, wow, Jesus, you did it. This is how I I too can do it through the power of the Holy Spirit that was poured out at Pentecost for you and I to walk in as New Testament believers in Christ, as followers of Jesus. I hope that blesses you. I hope that encourages you. I hope that in exhorts you because I believe right now that the, the earth, <laughs> all of the world is calling. Everything hinges right now upon the church. The, the world is a mess. It's in chaos. It is nutty. I am grieved. I'm sick. I can't look at the news. And I believe now more than ever before, the Lord is calling upon the church to rise up, to take her rightful authority, her rightful position, to arise and shine for her light has come and to walk in holiness and power for such a time as this, to be a voice, to be going into every single sphere every mountain of influence and infiltrating. The church has to. The generation hangs in the balance. The Z's hang in the balance. Our, our legacies, our future. I'm afraid if the church does not rise up in this hour, uh, what the future holds. The call is, is to the church right now more than ever before. And uh, it's a call to holiness. It's a call to return to the Lord God Almighty. It's a call to return to the word of God. It's a call to return to the gathering of the saints. Get with a church body. Get in partnership. Get in unity. If you are standing alone.